I want to do a second discharge test, this time to make sure the actual accuracy of the estimated time remaining. We can see on the Bloody EB3A that it is 100% charged. I've got the fan plugged in, so we'll just turn the AC on, and the fan starts, and we've got it on low mode, just like the first test. Right off the bat, we're showing the same 7.8 hours of estimated runtime, and we're pulling 30 watts. And it is 9.51 right now. And this time, I'm starting this in the morning, 9.51 a.m., so we will see how long the fan will actually run off of the Bluity v 3 <laughs> Just a quick update, we are now down to 70% and it says 5.5 hours remaining and still showing the constant 30 watts and it is 11.28. It's been going for one hour and 47 minutes, yet we've knocked off 2.3 hours of estimated time remaining. So we're already off on the estimated runtime. Here's another quick update. The power station is at 20%. It is showing one and a half hours remaining. It has remained a very steady 30 watt output from the fan on low mode. And it is 207. So that means it started at 951. So it has been running for almost three and a half hours now. We are all the way down to 1% with 0.1 hours estimated of runtime. Fan is still going. It is 326. We started at 951, so that's almost five hours and 45 minutes. On the display, we are showing a low battery icon. waiting for it to actually run out. I recall the user manual stated that the display screen stays lit for 30 seconds, but I've been timing it here on my camera and it actually stays on for 60 seconds, which I appreciate. I prefer the display to stay on longer. I think one minute is a good amount of time for the display screen to stay on. Okay, the fan just barely kicked off. Power station has finally reached 0%. It was about time. I've been standing here recording this video in anticipation that the power station would finally die. And my video has been recording for 21 minutes. And I started recording when the display showed 1%. Anyways, it is 3.46 and we started at 9.51 a.m. It is now 3.46 p.m. So that is just five minutes shy of six hours of runtime. And this fan running on number one low mode has been drawing a very constant and steady 30 watts. Now, I'm a little surprised because if we do the math on that, if the fan is drawing 30 watts and it ran for six hours, that's 30 times six is 180 watt hours. Yet the Blue Eddy has a battery of 268 watt hours. Now we know there are some power losses in the inverter and whatnot, but even still, hey Siri, what is 180 divided by 268? That would be approximately 0.6716. So we're only getting an efficiency of 67%. That is really low. I know some power stations, you can expect a power loss of maybe 10%, and that's really good. But a power loss of 33%, that is a ton of power loss. So I'm a little surprised. And this is a very real world power draw test. Running a fan of only 30 watts, constantly and it's just shy of six hours i'm not too thrilled about that now when i started the test the estimated runtime was 7.8 hours so we're about 1.8 to 1.9 hours off from what it actually ran hey siri 5.9 divided by 7.8 that would be approximately zero so 
the power station was able to run 75% of what the estimated run time suggested it would. So that's a 25% loss on the estimated run time, if that makes sense. I might also add that the power station, I never once heard or noticed the fan of the actual power station turn on. As I touch the unit, it does feel rather warm to the touch on top. The front and the sides feel cool. It's mainly up top and heat does rise. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is a follow-up video to the first discharge test I did with the power station. I did it through the night though. By the time I woke up, the fan was already off, so I had no idea exactly how long the power station provided power for the fan. And it must have just been within half an hour of me waking up. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful. If so, please hit the like button, drop a comment, and consider subscribing. Be sure to check out the video description below for product links and other information, and watch for my other videos. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.